everyone and welcome to the first home vlog of 2023. It is a really lovely day today. Nice blue skies. It's been raining for days and I have been glued to my desk working on all the Disney vlogs you've seen, the Q&A, the haul, everything. I've tried to have some balance and you know I've been reading a lot and having a lovely start to the year but today I'm having a bit more of an errands, me day and so I thought I'd pick up the camera. I was going to go to the gym this morning but when I started getting ready I changed my mind. I thought no I'm going to go out today. I want to go to Primark and I just want to have a day of just getting some bits and bobs done and thought I'd bring you along. So if you're new around here hello my name is Brogan lots of you have joined me from the Disney vlog so thank you so so much if that's you I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later um, but for now I'm going to take Bonnie on a walk I need to go to the post office and they are dog friendly in there they let me bring her in and then come back and I'm gonna go to Primark so that'll be the start of the day and then we'll see what else I get on with but I mostly just want to have a big old catch up with you there's loads to chat about so if you are new then this will hopefully get you up to speed with some things if you haven't already please hit subscribe so you don't miss future Disney home travel lifestyle vlogs I'd love it if you joined us here and yeah let's do the day good morning bonbon do you want to go for walkies yes oh you're waiting so patiently all right let's pop this on then hey oh you're so sweet yes I'm doing it I'm putting it on there we go good girl all right come on then she's having a good old sniff I've got my parcel I'm wearing my winter crocs <laughs> with my nice dress. This weather is so nice. It's not too cold. Bonnie's just living her best life, running through the park, sniffing everything. Oh, <laughs> good girl. <laughs> good morning. Hello, hello. He's awake. I am awake. Making us eggs on toast. Okay, so we have this most mornings now, don't we? We do. I can't have it every day because I can't have eggs every morning, but... It's a nice way to start there, isn't it? We have a little chit chat down here and then... I go to work and you do your things. I do my things. What are you project, doing today? Project pointing this week. Oh, okay. So I've got to re I've got to scrape out the what's left of the pointing that they obviously had like 20, 30 years ago and then repoint the whole house. But obviously that'll take weeks of me just on my own with a little ladder. So I'm just gonna do the worst bits now. We've got a little bit of a leak in there between the extension and the main house. It's all just like tracking through and dripping down through the uh, doorway. So, so you're going to fix it? Yeah. Good. That's your day. I'm going into town. <laughs> oh, what's for dinner tonight? We have got creamy chicken tikka masala. Ooh. Or? Or presto bacon and mushroom linguine. Ooh. Two goodies. This is a very boring task, but I need a contact lens checkup. So I'm just having a look at when I'm available to go and I will book an appointment. Perfect, thank you. Also, for could you pass me the HP sauce, Bench? I want to show the sauce we have for our American friends that don't understand what brown sauce was when I explained it in the last vlog. I don't love brown sauce on anything other than with eggs, um, but yeah, it's HP sauce. We have it with like in like bacon sandwiches or sausage sandwiches. Yeah. Um, I think How do you describe it? People, it says that people have it with jacket potatoes or baked beans. Yeah, but you're vinegary, isn't it? But I don't like vinegar either. I don't know why I like it, but I just do. It just tastes great with eggs. My child is asking for some attention, so that's what she shall get. Oh, should we just stay here all day, huh? Should we stay here all day? <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you. Is that funny girl? What was that? Oh, oh. I've just pulled up at Primark. I have just noticed how horribly filthy my windows are. I need to get my car cleaned today. And I'm gonna go inside, see if they've got some bits that I need. I want to pick up some basics for just winter and general day to day and see if they have any Disney stuff for the Disneyland Paris trip we have coming up, which I'm gonna talk to you about later. Pop in there, get a coffee, and then I will be moving on because I've got other places to go. But in between all my errands, I thought we could have a catch up about a few things. So firstly, like I said, thank you. If you are new around here, I am so close to 100,000 subscribers. I can't 
believe it every year i've had it as sort of my goal and been manifesting it for so long i've been on youtube 12 years this year and it's not really always about the amount of subscribers because my views are really high lots and lots of you love watching the vlogs and not all of you are subscribed which is absolutely fine but it is free and it does mean you get my videos in your sub box and i love youtube i watch so much youtube i actually pay for youtube premium and last year i made the decision on where i wanted to focus my content like where i wanted to put more effort into i just sort of had a little think about it and i dipped my toes in a few things but ultimately youtube is where my heart is and that's where i put all my love then instagram second um and then i've been looking at bringing back my blog but youtube will always be my number one and to see it grow and to see new people finding my channel last year was just such a joy and i'm really really grateful so when we do reach 100,000, i've been thinking about how we can celebrate together because i know a lot of you have been with me for the last decade some of you have been with me a few days which is also fine hopefully you get to know me a bit over the next few weeks or months but um yeah i'm thinking about how i want to celebrate i was thinking like a live stream i could do a giveaway I was thinking of maybe doing a video where I talk about like tips for YouTube and the things I've learned like I've been trying to think about some ideas so if you have any ideas you want to bring to the table please leave them below I'd love to hear from you we'll talk about some health stuff actually before we go into Primark Benji's gonna do a little catch up for us later so uh when he's filling up for it and he wants to talk about it we have some updates about his heart so long story short if you are new we found out last year that Benji has a heart tumor and he was all scheduled and ready to go for an operation. And then right at the last minute, the doctors changed their mind because they wanted to do more checks and monitor his heart and the tumor. But he has some updates for you. So I'll let him talk about that later. But in terms of me and my health, I actually do have an update for you for me. I did briefly talk about this on Instagram and I had so many messages and I didn't talk about it when I found out because I wasn't really sure how to explain it. But I actually had a weird dry patch of skin on my arm here. At first, the doctors thought it was eczema. So for the last, well, I actually think maybe 18 months, it's been definitely over a year, I have been going to the doctor religiously to get more and more cream. And every time they prescribe me with a higher steroid cream to try and get rid of it it was like a really stubborn patch of eczema is what they thought and i've had eczema since i was like late teens so i didn't really think too much of it at the end of last year i was in the doctor's office and they were about to prescribe me yeah another steroid cream i think we were up to like the highest ranking right at this point and i burst into tears and said i didn't want to do any more steroid creams like i really felt like i'd exhausted them and nothing was working and it didn't feel like my normal eczema and so the the doctor agreed that maybe we should see a dermatologist just to have it checked over um because it was actually quite small i mean i can show you it i'll show you pictures as well it's this tiny little red patch here can you see it's just down there i saw three doctors who checked it over and confirmed that it was actually a very small patch of skin cancer it's actually a basal cell carcinoma which is the most common form of skin cancer had to write it down because i couldn't remember and if you catch it early it can be treated with cream so i've been calling it my magic cream because it has been healing it really nicely so this picture is from the 21st of december and this is how it was looking just like a really small red patch didn't look much like anything this picture is from the 28th of december when i was a week into the cream and it started to go in quite red and crusty and dry this picture is actually from last wednesday so we're like middle of january and it's as you can see it's starting to really heal and today i'm on week six or six i'm on my final week of my cream it's caused by uv exposure but the doc i said to the doctors like i wear sun cream i wear fat to 50 i'm really good with it i don't like excessively sunbathe or you know obviously i spend time out in the sun but like why has this happened and they said i'm more prone to it because i have a family history of skin cancer my nanny has it and i am fair skinned i'm very pale they said to me that it would be something i'll have to monitor forever so anytime i have patches on my body or anything that flares up it will be a case of uh, double checking it if it hasn't healed by the end of this week like i'm cleared then i just have to self-refer and um, get them to double check it and if it's still being stubborn then they will cut it out i'll keep you updated on how it goes but i just thought i'd share that experience if any of you've gone through the same please let me know i'd love to hear from you they were the updates i was going to give you for now let's go into primark and have a look around hopefully 
after we get some good stuff. Primark is kind of in that in-between stage, you know, where there's a lot of like workout gear and some sale stuff and some weird brightly coloured pattern things. But I've got a couple of bits, I'll show you if anything's worth it, but I've come to look at the Disney stuff because obviously we're going to Disneyland Paris. They've got some cute bits. Okay, I'll have a little look. So I tried on a few jackets. This was very clearly a no. This was a definite no. I thought I could pull off the like blazer jacket look and it just didn't work for me. This dress I thought had potential but it was clearly a no. Uh, but I did love this Disney jumper and I found a black denim skirt which I liked as well. I was somewhat successful in Primark so I'm just going to leave and pop over the road because they have um, a The Works shop on the other side and I want to go and see some books. I'm going to come back through here because my car's parked upstairs and I'm going to get a Costa. Um, but we're going to go over to the works just here, see what books they have. I'm going to do a book video coming up very soon but I just thought I'd show you what was in here right now. I already own quite a few of these, I'm not going to lie, or I've already read them. Um, but I just thought some of you might want to see what they've got. Taylor Jenkins Reid over here. I've actually just recently finished Carrie Soto is back and they've got quite a few Colleen Hoover and Emily Henry. I've read all three of these and for four pound each that's an absolute bargain. Yeah I'm just seeing if there's any others I want because this is sort of my um, area of books. I like all of these typically. <laughs> I've also started reading this as a non-fiction. It's only eight pound in here. Dr Julie Smith. Why has nobody told me this before? Um, so I always have a little look around here as well in case there's any good reads. Next on my to-do list is I need to go to the car wash somewhere and I need to go to like a home bargains or a B&M and get some home stuff. So we'll do that together. And then when we get back, I need to do some chores and errands and admin around the house. And then I've got a video going up at six o'clock. So I picked up a sandwich in Greg's to eat on the go, but I'm not hungry yet. So I just got that for when I am hungry <laughs> and I'll show you what I got in Primark when we come back. But I just thought I would quickly say before we carry on that I wanted to say thank you if you reached out to me on Instagram because on New Year's Eve I shared a few things that have been going on behind the scenes that I've not felt comfortable talking about or I've not been in a position that I've been able to elaborate or a lot of the time when I go through personal stuff it's if I'm not talking about it it's mostly because I just don't want to have those conversations or open the conversation you know and sometimes in life we have to process these things first personally before we come online and seek a community of people that may be going through the same thing for me i wanted to be able to process those things rather than make content about them um but there were a few things that happened last year that sort of were quite defining in my life my dad sadly passed away which is not something i want to elaborate or talk about because my relationship with my dad was really complicated um and out of respect for my extended family members and my brother who was really close to him i just don't want to talk about it 2022 was quite testing on me i think and i have good feeling about 2023 i think it's going to be good i have to believe it's going to be good because last year really like wiped me out i cried so much last year and i would like to not cry as much this year <laughs> yeah in other more positive news january has been really good to me so far i have been really focusing on myself having days like today is really nice having a sort of day to me i've been in the gym again i've been working out benj and i played tennis last week which was fun uh, i've been trying to eat well just taking more time for me i've been reading loads i am absolutely obsessed with reading books i think reading definitely has correlated with um things that have happened in my life i've noticed that i pick up books more if i'm reading a lot um and i've got my head more in a book it's probably because something is going on and i'm looking for escapism it's been amazing i haven't really been playing much on my switch and i haven't been watching any netflix or tv really uh, i have just started the first episode of emily in paris season three but other than that i've not really watched anything some youtube videos here and there when i get ready in the morning but i'm reading loads so i can't wait to make a whole video for you about books and reading because i want to chat about that been here for a while and my car parking ran out so let's go and do the car should we do car wash i want to get the inside done as well but i've got loads of stuff in here so maybe we'll just do the outside i don't know where to go i also need a home bargain so let's see let's see on maps nine minutes drive we'll go there it was borderline impossible to film in there 
and carry all the home stuff. I had to pick up Pepsi Max, uh, dishwasher tablets, dishwasher salt, and all of that kind of stuff, and it was heavy. I've arrived at the car wash. There's a bit of a queue in front of me, and I am gonna get the insides done, because I don't know if you can see, but my mat um, down there is looking a bit dirty, but I've got loads of stuff in the back, so I think I'm gonna try and just move it all to the boot, and I'll just tell them to do everything bar the boot. There is something so nice about getting your car cleaned. I am so excited for this. <laughs> It was necessary, wasn't it? We saw the windows. I swear, my crack lips are getting worse by the hour. They hurt so much. Editing me, just jumping in. The next clips, I'm just ch carrying on chatting, but my lips just look so sore in them. And I just wanted to say that I have been to the doctors. I have some cream. I've been getting them healed. And I'm going for some blood tests as well to check my B12 and iron. But as you can see today, this is a few days later, they are looking a bit better. I was told this wasn't a cold sore either. So yeah, I just needed something a bit stronger from the doctors, but they look pretty bad in this next clip. So let's try and ignore that maybe, but please don't worry about me. I have seen the doc and I'm all good. Actually, speaking of cars, I love this car so much and we are gonna keep it, but Benj and I are ready to get a new car. And I think we're gonna do that at some point this year. We do know what we want. We might take you along on that journey, let me know. But uh, we wanna test drive it and stuff and still saving up a little bit more money for it but i think we've got this good clear vision but yeah i love this car so much it's such a good runaround car and now she's gonna be clean which is good but i just need to move all this shopping into the boot so they can clean whilst they're cleaning my car they've got like a little waiting room so i'm just eating tuna sandwich it's getting dark what is going on but it's like a really nice crisp fresh day but i am really chilly and i want to put my comfy clothes on so before i do i'm going to put away the stuff from home bargains i found cheetos we all know how i feel about cheetos when i go to the us i love them and they're little bags so i don't know if they're exactly the same as the american cheetos but i saw them and i was like yeah we use these in our kitchen because we have a white sink and worktops and sometimes if we have that like really stubborn mark or stain or something, these seem to be the only thing that gets them out. I got some cleaning products, quite boring. Toilet cleaner. I went for the mountain pine one. I always think of Mrs. Hinch with mountain pine. I don't know why. I got some dishwasher stuff. We needed quite a lot of dishwasher things. So I got some salt. Always comes in these really annoying bags. And a few years ago, I bought one of these and I put the salt in there, so obviously you can see it needed replenishing. I also saw these, um, I just thought they could be quite good. They're dishwasher in-wash cleaners, and you put them in at the bottom of your dishwasher and they like give it a bit more of an extra clean. I just thought I'd try and see how it goes. And then I got a bag of Fairy, before we had Platinum, Fairy Platinum all-in-one. I think I can recycle these at my local supermarket. Yes, so um, we've got a little bag on the back of the door. And we take that to the supermarket. I remember when I used to dream about having a dishwasher. And now I have one. And I'm maintaining it with cleaning products. Um, I'm going to do this in a second. That's the salt. Pepsi Max, which we cannot live without. An air freshener for the bathroom. Some tuna. <laughs> Boring. I also got some mailing bags. So that I can package up and ship my clothes that I'm intending on selling at some point on Vinted. I'm upstairs now and I just um, gave Benji a mini haul so I'm gonna show you what I got. Um, so I popped into Zara, they had so much in the sale but I knew I just wanted to go in and get one thing because I didn't have a plain black t-shirt and I saw this and it's actually a jumper but it's like a very thin jumper. It is literally just plain black but it has nice buttons on the sleeve i used to have one super similar to like this from zara it was 25.99 and i have an outfit in mind to wear it with i've got this really nice skirt that needs a black top so i got that i picked up this book in the works so lucky by dawn o porter i got some of these travel jars they're very helpful when we travel to put my creams moisturizers whatnots in the smaller tubs so as i saw those i picked them up I got one of these £1.50 mini collapsible crates. These are so cute and I wanted it in my new office area that I've been sorting out. I'm gonna do a whole video on that for you very soon, but I haven't quite finished and I needed something in the little tiny gap I've got. So I think this will work well. If not, I will put it in one of the drawers. Um, and yeah, it's just like one of these little, I've got a few of these now and I really like them. So pick that up. This hoodie for lounging around the house in, it's part of the Disney 100 collection with Primark and it was £15. It's got a little hood and 
it's such a nice design. At first, I actually thought this would be amazing in Disneyland Paris to wear with um, leggings and a nice coat because it's going to be freezing when we're there in February. But I think I much prefer it just for lounging around the house. Like when I put it on, I was like, oh, it's so cozy. I can imagine myself in pajamas with this. So I got that. Speaking of the Disney 100 collection, I also got this jumper. I saw this on their Instagram actually, and I knew I wanted to try it on. I wasn't sure because I like green, but I don't own anything this color green. It was 14 pound and it's just this very nice, simple, sweatshirt i guess and i also got the skirt i tried on i actually had this exact skirt I've misplaced yet i cannot find it for the life of me and we went out for a meal yesterday and i really really wanted to wear just a plain black denim skirt with a nice top um but this was 11 pound i got a pair of super cozy tights i was thinking these could be good for disneyland paris three pound fifty they are fleece lined so i haven't had any like this for a long time from primark but they do feel nice and cosy, so we'll see how these go. Benji's just having a bath, and then I don't know. I think I might jump on some emails, because I've got quite a lot of work to do, and I have a video going up in two hours. So I'll do that. Hi, I'm a terrible vlogger. I forgot to show you my meal before I started eating it. <laughs> um, but it's really yummy. Is it butternut squash, Ben? Yeah, it's butternut squash and chicken, uh, chicken masala. Really nice. I never would have thought of it in squash in a curry before. No, it's good. It's yummy. I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I just forgot to show it, so it looks a bit rubbish now. <laughs> I've just got out the chocolate. The Norway chocolate. And she's dad brought us home chocolate from Norway, and it's absolutely it's stunning. Norway for Christmas, I think. Oh, it's really, yeah, it's really good. And you've just been on a dog walk? I have. I was about to tell you that she's done a poo in a week. Oh, good, thank just, you. Just in case you were wondering. <laughs> um, but we thought it would be nice if you wanted to share your updates. Right, update. So we went to uh, Southampton Hospital on the... 3rd of January yeah. to go and meet with the surgeon um, who will possibly do, be doing my surgery. Well, he will be doing my surgery. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I'm sure most of you know, I've got a uh, benign tumour in my heart. I was in hospital this time last year-ish um, for 11 days. They discharged me and you know, been monitoring me. An appointment with a specialist once a month and then a scan, whether it be an MRI or a CT or whatever they feel like they need to do X-ray in between the months CT, yeah. for the last year. Mm -hmm. um, and then they reached the conclusion on the third that they are now going to go ahead with the surgery. Hopefully try and take it through the mitral valve, which will be better on my heart, but most likely they're going to have to cut into the bottom of my heart through the muscle into the left ventricle. Which could leave some scarring. Which No, which will leave some scarring. Yeah, but, but we're going to tackle that bridge yeah, later. But it's full sternectomy, sternectomy or whatever. Um, full crack my chest, open up. Open, up, open heart surgery, yeah. They had to, uh, they're going to stop my heart, fully stop my heart. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite scary, but... Mm. Um, it's a big surgery. But yeah, the only... One, not, not one that I was expecting to have at 28, but... No, it's been a massive part of our life over the last year. And obviously I've given updates here and there, but we haven't been able to talk about it too much because obviously it's been a big part of your health, your and life. And... Last, last time when I was in hospital, it was like there wasn't a doubt that I wouldn't be having it at the time. Mm. And obviously we shared the information and then literally like two days later they were like oh we're not, we can't do it so yeah. i don't want to get it's hard enough like updating friends and family mm. let alone obviously update updating you guys and, yeah and i don't want to get people's hopes up um and or then, getting them worried like yeah. you know we have been told that he's now on the list so we don't have a date yet but we have been told a time frame that it will happen within the next few months we have a trip to disneyland paris but as you know and they've told us we can continue to go on that we just came back from florida and he was fine and obviously we didn't know about the surgery then um and they've said that he's still good um to go on trips and do everything live life normally as he has been the last I can, year i can do everything it's, it's really I, i'm allowed to do everything yeah my big uh, symptom is my fatigue I get I get fatigued so quickly, so really easily. Tired, yeah. I've been sleeping for about 10, 11 hours a day, which is very, very rare mm. for me. When I was working, it was literally, I'd get six, seven hours sleep and then kind of then do a 12 hour day, like yeah, 12, 13 mad. hour day. Yeah. And then it's obviously for the last year before we found out, it had been getting a lot harder on me at work and I was struggling at work. And obviously I didn't know why, it just didn't make sense to me why. Um, and then obviously I had the, diagnosis and it's like well that makes sense mm -hmm. and then i feel like it's just been getting progressively progressively worse but yeah hopefully obviously it was it's going to completely 
knocked me for six for a, a, quite a few months. But yeah, so it, it, it's it's good news. It is it? great. It's great news. Like it's what we want. It, and we were so lucky to meet the surgeon. Incredibly grateful for the NHS and the the surgeon is so nice. And we are just so he's done over six thousand successful oh, heart surgeries, which is since mental. the nineties. Like yeah. he is so talented. We're just moving forward now. We're trying to be as positive as possible. And uh, the next each thing the we do will be good. We, is more valuable for us, isn't it? Each thing we do. That's why we've been and taking. We appreciate it. it a yeah. Lot more. Well, we? All the opportunities we had last year, we just took them. We never took anything for granted and we just said, look, we've been given the okay to do these things, let's go do them. And so I think that's why Disney felt so magic to us both because we'd had such a tough year. It'd and been we, really rough. We don't know when I can next do it. No, next no. To do it. So we were due to go on um, a trip with Piano Cruises to uh, show you Avia, the new ship, um, but we've asked them if we could pause it for a minute. And we're hoping to do that in the summer months um, if Benji's fully recovered by then. So no guarantee because obviously his health always comes first. But it does mean that we've got no travel updates for you after this now in Paris because we've been pausing all ideas and suggestions that have come in. I obviously could go places solo or on press trips and things but I need to be around. And I will say when the time does come, if I go quiet for whatever reason then you know why and i will take some time away from the vlogs and instagram during those weeks around the surgery but we don't have a date still genuinely don't know when it's happening we're just preempting you to let you know that it's going to be happening so don't be surprised um when it does yeah there's been a lot but we've got each other so, we've got our lovely home we've something. got all the resources tools and everything we need something we didn't think we'd be dealing with god no but, yeah. but that's life isn't it everyone goes through stuff everyone's dealing with stuff all the time we just have this platform where we're sharing it. I need to carry on replying to comments of coming in for my new Q&A video. This jumper is so snug. I was having <laughs> and ahhing it, but it's so cozy. It's like a blanket jumper, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, and I think we might just get cozy in bed. I want to read my book. It's seven o'clock and I'm getting in bed. It's not uncommon for us. No. Get into bed, you fought Bon, so... Um, and like we said, I've been repointing the house today. Yeah, how did that go in the end? Because you did tell us you were doing that. Yeah, hard. 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 Big, just, uh, big physical work day. Yeah, it absolutely just drained me. So I had a nice bath after I finished. And um, it's supposed to, it, well, it's already below freezing tonight. So we'll, um, we'll see if the house is still standing in the morning. Bench! Of course it will be. All right, let's go upstairs. We're in bed. Obviously, Bonnie is joining us for a cuddle. She got this toy for Christmas. Thank you, Bonnie. Is this for me? It's a banana peel obviously well banana with a peel she absolutely loves it and she takes it to bed with a bless her <laughs> did i tell you what i'm doing this weekend as well my lovely friend charlie is coming to stay she and i met in epcot last year in may and we got on really well i have quite a few friends that were viewers first and i just i always love chatting to people and i meet so many people all the time especially when I'm in Disney, but we just clicked and we just got on really well. I really, really liked her. And so we've met up a few times. I've hung out with her in London. We went to see Frozen the Musical together and we talk all the time. And uh, we, she'd never done a spa day before. So we've booked to go to Aqua Sauna Spa at the um, Centre Parks in Longleat. We're just doing a day there and she's gonna come stay with us in Bournemouth. So it's a bit of a drive two centre parts so she's going to stay two nights and it'll be really really lovely so I need, I was going to change the bedding today and make all her room nice for her but I think I'm going to move that to do that tomorrow. I'm going to carry on replying to comments and then I will read my book. I really like to dedicate time reading and I've just started a new one. This is Olive by Emma Gannon and it's my third book of the year but like I said I'm going to do that book video for you but I'm about halfway and I'm enjoying it so far so I do want to put my computer down but I'll give myself another half an hour and then I'll uh, do some reading. Look at Bon running. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to stop that. Oh. Do you want to get that rabbit girl? <laughs> and you said I don't know where she's running to but she's getting there quickly. Oh she stopped. Oh it's so cute when she does that. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't sleep on our bed, by the way. She sleeps next to us. Oh, she's going again. I don't know how, but it's 10 o'clock and I need to go to sleep. I've got so many comments I've been replying to. It's been such a nice 
little chilled evening i hope you've enjoyed this little home vlog today as i said i've got some new videos coming up so make sure you hit subscribe and don't miss them and i'll have lots of these videos again soon i love making them so if you have any ideas or anything you want to see from me this year do feel free to leave them below hope you're all well thanks for watching and i'll see you again in my next ones bye <laughs>